amazing flying creature that snatches up Aladar's falling egg is called a pterosaur. They were fish eaters and probably flew from trees or cliffs, since they were not good runners. A close relative of the dinosaur, but not exactly a dinosaur itself. The pterosaur can best be described as a flying reptile. Look out! Pterosaurs lived around the shore that extended to the north from the Gulf of Mexico. They ranged from sizes that were no bigger than a small bird to those as big as a small airplane with a wingspan of over 40 feet. You better strap on your seatbelt for this flight. The dinosaur that snatched up the egg containing Aladar is called Oviraptor. Like the turtles and birds of today, its jawbones were covered with a horny beak. This wacky looking guy might have been a meat eater and a plant eater. Nobody knows for sure, but we do know that they had a bony crest that looked like a mohawk and powerful hands with long fingers that probably gave them butter fingers. The ankylosaur, Earl to you and me, is a loyal and lovable member of the herd who loves to play fetch like a puppy dog. But unlike our house pets, it came equipped with armor, which even offered protection for its eyeballs. It could use its hardened tail like a hammer if it was in danger, which would be useful since it was about as slow as a cow, walking only three miles per hour. Sort of like me on my way to school. When Aladar and the lemurs stumble upon the herd, it's Ema and Baleen who become their first friends. Both dinosaurs were plant eaters, but not pushovers. Ema, the lady with attitude, is a Styracosaurus. She had long bony spikes sticking out from a huge skull, which was over six feet long. That explains the attitude. The bony neck frill was probably meant to scare off predators and competition. Baleen is a Brachiosaurus. This huge dinosaur had such a long neck, its feeding ground was high up in the tree canopy. Brachiosaurus was one of the biggest land animals from the late Jurassic period. Towering over 50 feet and weighing almost 40 tons, it could have poked its head inside a six-story building or washed the windows without a ladder. Unlike other horned dinosaurs, the Pachyrhinosaurus had a bump on its nose and not a horn. Go figure. This dinosaur, whose name means thick nose, lived in the western part of North America and grew to a length of 23 feet. The predator dinosaurs were meat eaters, or carnivores, with pointy teeth, sharp claws, and a lightly built body. The most fearsome predator was the Carnotaurus, whose name means meat-eating bull. Stay clear of this dinosaur. It sported two horny crests on his forehead. I guess one just didn't do the job. It would take four bulls lined up end-to-end -to -end equal the length of one Carnotaur.